What's up guys, it is Maxwell and this is Sparta inside the second CWL placement match against the Dark Looters Z. As you can see we took a loss by 3 stars here. Uh, so let's jump right in, I've got of course some nice attacks prepared for you guys. Um, as you can see we tripled one of their 11s, they did not triple any of ours. But anyways let's get to the first attack right away, fresh hit by Halo. On base number one right here um, so yeah definitely really nice job to Halo and yeah we lost by three stars uh, how come um, I've got the war match pulled up by the way I'm also gonna be replying to your guys's comments inside this video as soon as we start off with uh, the 10 versus 10 action I've got quite a few comments to reply to again so um, yeah that's nice I appreciate it for sure First of all, the stats on this war, guys. Um, 111 versus 11 triple for us, as I said. Uh, zero for them, they attempted three. Six 10v10 triples for us, uh, nine for them. 9v9, 78% hit rate for us, 72 for them. Um, we had two dip fails actually, which of course really hurt. Um, yeah, we should really dip fail this meta, so. That's not so good, but yeah, better now than like when the CWL really starts. So, yeah, they did perfectly. Um, both sides did a bit of 10v11, 27% hit rate for us and 44 for them. So, that's your stats right there. And let's see, so we're gonna be watching Halo. It looks like his queen actually walked the wrong way, but Halo is going to improvise here nicely. The bowler's getting some. Uh, value they're getting uh, on the single inferno getting the um, ground skeletons down and then he's got some valkyries left in the back of course those are gonna come in clutch for the town hall kill that's the goal as you can see halo is taking a really smart angle on this um, the the way the queen is now the queen is gonna stand right on top of the town hall whenever he sends in his valkyries so um, yeah definitely a really smart uh, angle of attack here which he which he chose or which he yeah, ended up uh, taking. Couple Valks actually coming in for the funnel, so um, picks up those percentages. Um, he's at 48, so I guess he's gonna pick up two more percent there in the middle of the base. Jump spell comes in, the queen is gonna go down. He actually waits for the queen to die. The healers are switching to the Valkyries, so that's, I guess, pretty smart. Rage spell goes in. A uh, bunch of ground skeleton traps there are not really going to uh, hurt him too much. And he is able to take out the town hall. So great attack to Halo. Uh, he's of course uh, quite good at 10v11. So yeah. Really nice, really nice. Up next we've got the 11 versus 11 triple by Richard. On base number 2. Richard. Because <laughs> he's using witches once again. Takes out this wizard tower here first of all with the... Um, Balloons. The queen walk is gonna start uh, right after. The queen is gonna be making her way over towards the uh, sort of uh, three o'clock side of this base. It's gonna set up a nice bit of a funnel. Mainly, his goal here is to like sort of set up um, one half of the funnel, the other half. Uh, he's pretty much just gonna have his kill squad like waltz their way up the base. Nice poison spell down on the enemy queen as well as the defensive clan castle. So doing double duty with that poison spell, of course you only get like one poison spell turn 11 because you have the um, spell slots with uh, the yeah for all the big spells. So you always almost always kind of wanna um, only bring one poison. Golem actually goes back here. Um, the bowlers and the witches come in right behind the cannon, gets taken out easily. Rage spell comes in. He's got uh, two heal spells actually in this case because the healers are gonna stick to the queen here. So decides to actually go with um, two heal spells, which is something that uh, usually you only use one heal spell in this attack strategy. But um, yeah, he opted for two, so he's gonna be able to keep his uh, kill squad over at the top there and nice and healthy for quite a long time. Quite a bit of splash there, of course, with the mortar, wizard towers, and all that junk. And yeah, Witcher is going to be wrapping up a nice triple at this point. There's really nothing anymore that can stop him. So, a uh, great hit. As usual, he attempted another one. Had a time fail, actually. So, rip 
the hit rate, but it's still above 90%, so that's okay. Yeah, great stuff. We're going to be moving on to 10 versus 10 action. Checking those out. First up, we've got Eldo the Legend on base number 14. And as we do that, guys, I will be heading into the comments and replying to you guys. Um, your channel is better than The Last Jedi. Well, <laughs> I appreciate that, B Hobbs. Uh, you're awesome. Marco uh, says, you say Grundinator, but it's Grundinator. That doesn't make any sense to me, <laughs> but okay. Chief Ethan was inspired by Mutke to make an FC crack video. Copy to War and Glory basis and is gonna upload the video. Hashtag subscribe to Mutke. Alright. <laughs> well, what can I say? Get Maxwell to 10k subs, he will freestyle rap. <laughs> Please don't. Don't subscribe to my channel. Uh, good on you for supporting the German Midweek League. Yeah, I think that's a good cause. Hashtag ask Maxwell Snip or John. If you mean the video uh, about the past, present and future that we're gonna make soon, it's gonna be John. Um, yeah, Gibbs is asking is there gonna be a recap of the barn burner gg versus sl war two days ago i think the recap was already uploaded two days ago so yeah there is on my channel gibbs just check it out you'll be able to find it easily <laughs> nishat says uh, khan osaf i see him everywhere op guy <laughs> york says first as always CH says second as always, Elton Lobo says last as always, Nos says same, Hugo says nice, nice knife chief, <laughs> and open Elton Lobo says nice name chief. Alright, so that trash talk is over as well. Aria says Golden Goblins Legends, Vivek says arrange with FPC India. Possibility. Uh, I don't know if they if their leaders have hit up one of us, but uh, why not? Ian Johnson says, "Are they supposed to be this godly clan or a modding clan?" Referring to gold goblins. I can't answer that. <laughs> Storm Backstein says, "Mod is that they used to be mod, but they were FP this war." and uh, will be for the coming wars unless mod comes back but then being x mod means they are op fp fair play as well because the modding can basically see be seen as practicing every time you do it see what works and what not if that makes sense we've got replies to that <laughs> um we've got replies uh, as we check out this awesome triple by Richard. Uh, so replying to that good joke man. Modding isn't dead. It's still possible Golden Goblins will always be a modding clan. <laughs> and Matt says they definitely seem suspicious. <laughs> Matt 814211 by the way. So I don't think that's the uh, spot's legacy Matt. Marwan Nafi says, Max will be like, don't say they are a modding clan, don't say they are a modding clan. <laughs> Ali Kaman says, guess who got his first, uh, very first 10 versus 11 in his very first match. Thanks for the tips, Max will practice really pays off, man, that's so awesome. I already replied to that as well. Um, great job, man, keep it up. Khan says, congrats on 5k subs, yo, thank you, man. <laughs> and then he says, four star loss against GG. Nice win, Sparta. <laughs> um, Xalil says, Man, I'd love to see 10v10 live planning with Jojo, maybe, as he's one of the best players, if not the best, uh, if not the best, or whoever War Will players accept to be on video. Interesting. Interesting suggestion. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Storm Backstein with another comment. Uh, Gold Goblins, they are FP now because mod is dead. No excuse, to be honest. And then we've got DM. Uh, 
The Maka the Hans DM aka the Hans replying. <laughs> Storm back steam mod is not dead, just by the way. <laughs> and Elton Lobo says, I believe DM God. You always believe DM. Jean Bam says, Oh my god, amazing Queen Charges, nice job on the Warwitz video. Yo, thank you, dude. We're doing our best. Cockalicious says, Caesar used to be a war whale. War whales is a notorious closet nodding clan. I guess you mean closet modding clan. And I already replied to that uh, in the comments as well. Uh, because it's actually not true what you're saying. Um, the first part is true, I guess, that Caesar was uh, at one time in War Wales. Um, but not War Wales is a notorious modding clan is of course not true. We are a fair play clan. Nobody's modding in War Wales. And if you like, this is probably, you probably like have some knowledge scratching the surface or whatever. But as I said, there's a video coming up on that, a uh, long story short, during season 2, a closet modder somehow snuck his way in War Wales. Um, I am not quite sure of the exact circumstances because I wasn't in the clan then. Could happen to any clan, was unfortunate, um, but it was one guy, one time, and other than that, no proof whatsoever. And as of right now, definitely nothing shady happening in War Wales. Whatsoever, I can guarantee you that. Bliss88 says Golden Goblins are definitely not FP, but what about Richard LMAO? What makes me sad is the fact that GG that in GG there is a CWL admin shit CWL. That's an opinion as well, I guess. And if you have any worries about Richard, <laughs> once again, I will guarantee that Richard is fair play. Gerrit says, hashtag Richard OP. <laughs> the Eden Project says, I say GG, GG. All right. Uh, Sar says, GG, FP, Gods. Ayush Edge says, should have done mess gobs with a swag spell on all their bases. Whatever. Hashtag Ask Maxwell, for a German YouTuber, I speak pretty good English. Um, can I do it that good from school or uh, did I do anything special for English nice video? Mm, well, I hadn't uh, like I did like doing English in school, but I don't think that school taught me. I watched a lot of I watched a lot of sports in English. I used to do that like for many years now. I watched a lot of bunch of sport in English. Then of course gaming is in English. I watched a lot of Twitch and stuff as well whenever I have the time. So and then I, I think I've, I have sort of a talent for languages, so yeah, I don't know, it's just my thing. Uh, it's maybe the talent, I guess. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, watching a lot of sports, um, especially golf, you know, I used to play a lot of golf. Um, let's see, 22 is next. I used to play a lot of golf, and in golf the commentary is like very clear, and Americans are really easy to understand, of course, for Germans. So that I think really helped me. I used to watch like when Tiger Woods was still active. I used to watch hours and hours of golf every weekend. Sometimes I used to watch like 10 hours of golf a weekend. And um, as I said, the English that they speak is very clear and very slow and easy to understand. I think that really helped me. But yeah, um, I didn't like especially practice it or anything. <laughs> Dr. Pick. Dr. Pig says, good war, give Richard more hits in the future, so he can secure more of those uh, very clean 11 versus 11. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> Spartan's Legacy, uh, false icon says, Spartan's Legacy, 67% hit rate 11 versus 11, against GG, 50% hit rate 11 versus 11. Proceed to the highlight, Richard swagging spells in his six pack 11 versus 11 war, going 11 out of 12 since the update are you implying gg is modding uh, wtf sounds like gg just got just outmanaged uh, their war uh, zach benson says that's facts and it actually is facts and richard says lol 
So to explain this a little bit, first of all, Richard is not attacking anti three star bases uh, on a regular basis. So the 11 out of 12 since the update is on anti two star bases, bases that are not supposed to defend the three star, aka you could say that his hit rate is worth way less than what Golden Goblins is doing on uh, anti three star bases. Impl like not to discredit him or anything, but they are attacking tougher bases, of course. Inside this war, everybody was running anti 3 star bases at turn 11. And yes, 67% hit rate is of course crazy, but that's only 3 attacks. Like we did 3 attacks, 2 of those tripled. Like if we were to do 20 or do 30 attacks, we probably wouldn't triple 20 of them um, against uh, anti 3 star bases, because that's like just impossible to do of course when you face like seven or eight bases you pick maybe one or two where you say okay i have a plan for this one which is what richard did but after that it's tough to stay at that level you know it's actually impossible and um, they had 50 percent hit rate but five out of ten like they tripled five out of our bases which is tougher than to like just triple two if that makes sense it's tough to explain I like don't wanna I just wanna clear that up a little bit just to like put that in perspective but um like if I have to, would have to uh pick somebody let's say this town 11 base it's an anti three star base it's really tough and it needs to get tripled would I think that rather Richard triples it or rather somebody from Golden Goblins triples it I would think that rather somebody from Golden Goblins triples it if that makes sense but whatever like i don't even want to get into that too much but what you stated are definitely facts that's absolutely true but what i said you just gotta put them in perspective um because like facts are facts yes but you always gotta see the the bigger picture as well but anyways like what you said was right basically uh <laughs> zach benson says you're an ape lmao you were in dl the last thing you want to do is throw shade well clearly you must have been in the l also if you have so much insight um other than that i guess it's just once again uh trash talking with some information and like no insight whatsoever but uh, yeah uh not even gonna reply any further because uh, a lot of the i don't even know if i'm allowed to share um, but anyways Grace has no proof, no shade. Very true. I absolutely agree with that opinion. Um, Kings says, "Will when will GG ever lose? Waiting for the moment. I don't know. Uh, I guess everybody will lose eventually. Um, I don't know. Donny Suket, hashtag S Maxwell. Are you planning to do a more friendly challenge with Snip on your town hall nine? Why not?" If Snip is down, for sure. Um, spam Snip on Twitter. <laughs> Tito says, my two favorite clans, Spartans Legacy and Golden Goblins. All right. Two swag spells for Yo-Yo in this 10v10 triple. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, clear world view that's 10v 10s by the way guys we're moving on to 9v9 on base number 41 well here we go again keep checking that closet cwl <laughs> uh bhop says on my holiday vlog looks like a fun trip thanks for sharing yo you're welcome it was definitely awesome nice first when Warwits get that victory, <laughs> it's where the Dolphins made that crazy move. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... And Axel Oren says, Darth, Maxwell should use it in a whale watching after a 3 star. How about I will do that tonight? I just need to remember it. But it's an awesome uh, idea. <laughs> Why are GG so OP? Hashtag ask Maxwell. I don't know. They're doing a lot of things. Very good, I guess. I don't know. I'm not in GG, so I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea how they are planning and executing their attacks, but clearly they are getting very good results. Chief Ethan, didn't show a dead body good first vlog. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
congrats on 5k, yo, thank you. Uh, Xarly was in Grand, uh, on Grand Canary as well two years ago. Leo says, man, that's so lovely. Congrats on your subscribers. Captain OP. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Leo. Awesome place. Alberto Castanon says, nice mod. Nero says, congrats, Max Maxwell. Hashtag way to go 10k. Uh, been subscribed since 500 subs. That's awesome, man. I appreciate it. And then we've got Asuna. For some reason, I cannot consistently get three stars 10v10 with Hawks. I'm not sure why, because I managed to do it pre-update. And I was looking forward to having an easier time. Now, maybe the bases have changed to be more anti-hawk, but it's frustrating getting 90 plus percent and leaving up one cannon or Tesla or Wiz Tower at the end. I guess it's just bad luck. It should definitely have gotten easier. But yes, also the bases are getting more towards like anti-hawk. I don't know, man. Keep on trying, keep on practicing, and eventually the luck will come back to you and you will smash it again. So, right, Daniel wrapping up the nice Gobo Lalo three star here on base number 41. And one attack left, guys, and is once again going to be yours truly. On number 45, taking out your karma on the other side there. We actually had quite an awesome war, uh, 9v9. I should shout out the six packs if I remember after this attack. Um, yeah, we had a good hit rate. We had a bunch of guys fresh six packing. Uh, I actually had a very special planning buddy for my tunnel nine attacks this war. Shout out to Mutke once again. Uh, he randomly hopped on voice, and yeah, uh, I'm always having a great time on voice with him, obviously. So, um, this queen charge here, uh, pretty nice, and it was actually his uh, suggestion. So, we planned it out together, and then I went in to do it. Um, so I six packed, fresh this war, feels good man, no time fail this time. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was nice. Queen walking down uh, here this side of the base, the nice minion at 6 o'clock grabbing two buildings actually. Uh, gets down both those gold mines before the queen approaches, which really helped out. Queen is gonna make her way around the corner here, actually targets the uh, cannon. There we go, baby dragon comes in, there is a seeking, uh, or well, a red bomb there. I What's it called? Air bomb, I think, right? First wall breaker. Take a look where the wall breaker. No, that one was okay, I guess. But then I decided to. Well, I dropped one more wall breaker. That one was okay. So I decided to rage wall breakers actually because that first wall breaker went so weird. Queen almost missed the opening, but then she did turn back and go in. So that was nice. Uh, of course, the goal to get the expo here, get the enemy um, queen. Wizard Tower, Clan Castle, all that good stuff. Poison spell down. So the Queen is gonna be poisoned down, the enemy Queen. Lava Hound comes out, so um, I decided to drop a Rage Spell right away. Just to be like a bit quicker through the Lava Hound than actually start the Lalo already. Uh, Cause like time was sort of getting close. Coming in here with the level uh, 2 Lava Hound first. Level 4 Lava Hound is gonna come in up at top. Air defense gonna get taken out. Um, the loons catch a couple of red bombs there. A couple trolley red bombs around the outside. Um, the expo gets taken out nicely. That was of course very important to take out the expo. Queen gets the sweeper down. That really helped rage spell down. And uh, yeah, pretty wrecked. The only issue a little bit was once again time with the cleanup. Because this queen charge took so long, like charging half the base there. But did have enough time, so that it was nice, and finally no time fell for the captain. Six pack inside this one, so that felt really good, of course. And yeah, we're already at the end for this video, guys. Uh, well, already 23 minutes, so sort of a long video again. Left couple tents on the board, as you can see, and that one uh, 11 one start, that was definitely unfortunate. They also left one of our 11s uh, one start, actually, but they cleared the tens i think yeah they cleared the tens so yeah guys um the 9 10 v 10 triples and we only had six that definitely really helped them and also of course dipping perfect with our two dip fails so 125 128 gonna do it for this one hope you enjoyed the video until next time i will see you all later peace out